Hi guys and ladies, I have a special guest coming for dinner tomorrow. She loves fish from my lake, but she's not on my weird diet. So a fish dinner better taste just like a fish dinner. That is no weird stuff. So let's see if we could satisfy my diet, yet satisfy her too. Even if we have to pull one over on her. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. It's very unseasonably warm here in mid-November, 74 degrees. I don't know what we can catch in these conditions, so let's try for everything and anything. For starters, let's go light with this Crawdads. It's on a 1 15th ounce jig head. So check the notes below for a description of the tackle, the lake, and just about everything else. I'm going to fish the deeper water because I'm not catching anything in the shallows. And besides, uh, the deeper water is wind protected and the wind is strong today. Let's get over there. Yes. Oh my goodness. I got this guy, but he's too big. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow! What a monster! All I wanted was a little fish for dinner. I can't keep this. Oh my gosh, it's a monster. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. He took it right next to the boat. I mean, it was really close to the boat. Let's measure him. 19 and 3 quarters inches. Look at this guy. I've got to put him back. That's the rules of my lake. I read the description below and you'll see what I'm talking about. This thing is a giant. I want to preserve him. It's a tank. Let's put him back. Oh, no, that's what I'm talking about. Perfect for eating. Not that I didn't love the big one. Look at that. Uh, about 11 and 2 thirds, 11 and 3 quarters. Perfect, perfect. Look what I've got here. I put a mealworm on because we're not catching fish fast enough and it's getting dark. It's November, you see. So I'm going to throw out this uh, mealworm on a 1 16th ounce jig head, see what happens. Goodness! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Look at the size of this bluegill. The switch paid off. Look at the size on him! Wow! Wow! Yes, another huge bluegill. <laughs> Getting smaller, huh? Whoa! Hmm, <laughs> not bad. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and colorful. It's fighting. Look at that. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. I think it's big enough. 
Oh yeah, yeah, just right, just right. <laughs> wow! <laughs> From one side of the boat to the other. Oh, look at this, it's big. Oh my gosh, I have enough fish. Oh, giant, giant fish. Uh, looky here, we've got six nice bluegill and a bass that ought to be plenty for this weird recipe that, well, it can't be too weird. So let's get in the house, fillet them, and tomorrow we'll cook them up. Here it is the next day. We caught both bass and bluegill yesterday. Looky here, the bluegill fillets alone weigh over a pound. I think that'll be good enough for our, well, not too weird recipe. But let's first get started on a side dish. Now let's just toss with our hands here. Get them evenly coated. Now I'm gonna set our oven to 400. I'm just gonna spread these out in this baking sheet. Now I'm just adding salt and pepper. This is not even in the recipe. Here's about 12 ounces of onions. I just wanted to use them up. I love onions. I love onions. I don't know. I'm breaking the law. This is not in the recipe. I'm not sure how to do this, but I've got like uh, eight slices of bacon uh, chopped up in one inch pieces. Let's see what happens when I put them on top. Okay, you see what I've done? I spread out the bacon, the onions, everything's ready to go in the oven for 25 minutes, but halfway through, I have to flip everything over. It's been about 14 minutes. Let's take everything out and turn it. Whoa, the kitchen smells fantastic. Well, you get the idea. I'm putting it back in the oven another 13 or so minutes. Let's check on it. It's been about 26, 27 minutes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, the fragrance. The smell is so wonderful. I think it's done. I'm going to taste some of this. Mmm, I got some bacon. Mmm, mmm. It's a wonderful flavor, not too crunchy, not too soft. And the flavor, bacon, onions, Brussels. Try this, I insist. Mm, mm. Let's get on with the fish. Let's preheat our oven to 425. Now I'm making a little egg wash. I'm going to do our breading now. Ah, ah, ah. This is not conventional breading. Here's where it gets weird. Here's a cup of pork rinds. Don't be revolted. Think of them as uh, bacon powder. That's it. Now looky here. I have a uh, three quarters cup of Parmesan cheese grated, teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, teaspoon and a half of uh, white pepper. I'm stirring it all up. So I got this big filet in the uh, egg wash, let it drain. Then over to our bacon dust mixture, pat it in. Look at the size of this thing. Wow, it's like a steak. <laughs> then over here on our tray, that's it. Our last filet, it, it looks good, it smells so good. <laughs> well, here goes. I'm putting this in for like nine minutes, nine to 10 minutes. While our fish is roasting away, I have to tell you all, that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, has accepted my invitation to dinner tonight. <laughs> well, you probably know, we've been seeing each other for like 50 years now, yet, you know, she never brings up the subject of marriage. Well, I love her so much, but I'm so shy. 
Still, I need to steer our conversation toward marriage. It's been nine and a half minutes. Let's see how it looks. Whoa! <laughs> it looks golden, the way I like it. Let's see how it tastes. This is it, I'm going to taste it. The texture is crispy, yet it was done in the oven and no messy oil. Oh, the texture is indeed crispy. That seasoning with the garlic and the pepper and oh my goodness, the cheese, this is wonderful. Oh, I hit it out of the park. Yes, yes, yes. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheekson. Thank you so much for joining me at my uh, well, dumpy double wide. Uh, and you had a chance to dine on my uh, Brussels sprouts with bacon and onion. And what did you think of it was that? Excellent. It was very really? sweet. I didn't even feel like I was even eating a vegetable. It was so good. Uh, very good. Thank you, thank you. And my fried fish with uh, its special breading, what did you think of that? Very nice. And <laughs> I, you know, it was just perfect. Perfect meal. Thank you. Would you be surprised if I said the breading wasn't really breading, that it's actually ground up pork rinds? Wow, you'd never know. I know you wouldn't, really. You wouldn't. You know, uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, I, I can say Lulu now? Yes. Oh, thank you. I was thinking about marriage today, and you know, it's sort of like a deck of cards. You, you have two hearts and a diamond. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but in the end, you wish you had a club and a spade. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, can I have a hug?